This is the third tutorial in a series of six two-minute tutorials aimed at teaching the very basics of Blender. First we're going to look at adjusting the view in the viewport. If you hold down shift and middle mouse button you can pan around. If you hold down control and hold down middle mouse button you can zoom in and out. If you um, scroll with the middle mouse button you zoom in and out but with graduations and the middle mouse button on its own allows you to rotate around the focal point. The focal point's not quite the cube in this case and to adjust it you can just press the decimal point on the number pad and it sets it to the current selected object. Now we're going to look at extrusions. To make an extrusion you need to have an object selected and in edit mode. You can do this by pressing tab. You then need to make a selection of at least one face otherwise it looks weird. You can uh, do this in uh, vertex mode and press E and then you can move it left click to confirm or you can do this in edge mode by selecting there's four, pressing E. I'm not going to move it this time. It stays in exactly the same place and I can edit it now afterwards. And then uh, you can also do this in face mode. Press E. And then you can uh, scale it, rotate it. You can make extrusions based on multiple selections. If you're in face mode and you want to select a face loop, you first need to right click on a face to select it, hold down the alt key and then select the second face in the loop. It will then select all of it, you press E and extrude like we said before. If you're in vertex mode however, it's slightly different. If you hold down the control and alt key and then right click the side of the vertex which you want to select, it will select the relevant edge loop. If you select here, it will select this one, here, this one, here, this one. You can then make an extrusion like we said before. In the next tutorial we're going to look at mirror modifiers, a brief overview of materials and UVs.